Right now I'm sitting near Westminster, near Westminster Abbey, and we can see it's absolutely packed. But if you take a little scan on there, you will see this massive queue, people. And basically this queue stretches right now for five miles on Friday at two o'clock. And it's only gonna get longer as people come from after work and stuff like that. It's open 24 hours, so you can go in and view the body at any time. Hundreds and hundreds of people. And then the queue, there's loads of people doing interviews, loads of people getting uh, footage of the queue. And look at all these TV cameras, wow. You can see the kind of speed at which the queue is moving. It's like a third of walking speed, it seems. And then it stops for a while. And then, and then it will start moving again a bit later on. As you can see right here, this pace is very stop-start, right? You got people that stopped again, people that are starting again over there. Today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about going to see the Queen's Coffin at Westminster Abbey. So firstly, I've just done this so I know from my experience how it all works and it can seem very confusing at first, but once you know the process, it's actually not too bad. So first up, the first question you probably have is, what is the deal? Basically, you need to queue up for X amount of time to go in and see the, the and walk past the the coffin and the crowns and see the men inside the abbey. Now, where do you join the queue? Now, this is really an important question because the way the queuing system works is that you get a wristband when you join the back of the queue and then you stay in that queue, you have your wristband, you're allowed to move off for toilet breaks to grab some food and then you enter back into the queue with your wristband. And then when you get to security, the final hurdle, you know, they check your wristband. If you've got one on, then you can go in. If you don't have a wristband, then you can't go in. So it's really good system for queue preventing queue jumping. Now, a key thing to mention is that there's a specific route for the queue. So it goes from, you know, Westminster Abbey all the way down past London Eye uh, to Southwark sort of area. So it stretches a really long distance. Now, if you arrive and you try and join the queue in the middle, because there's some sort of gap, you haven't got a wristband. You won't be able to get in. So you can't join halfway through. What you need to do is find the very end of the queue at the time that you go, go to the back of it and you'll get a wristband from whoever's at the end of the queue. There'll be some stewards there and then you have to join the back of the queue there basically. So how do you find where the back of the queue is at the time that you're going? So what I did, there's a live stream going on detailing all of the information on the government website, on the government YouTube channel. But what you can do is go onto the internet, search for Gov UK Queen Tracker and the website by the Express newspaper is the one I like to use because it gives you all of the updates and it also has a live video update from the government website, which basically tells you where the queue currently is, the estimated queuing time, and where you need to go and join to, to get to the back of the queue and to get your wristband. And it also tells you where the nearest landmark is, uh, which is by the end of the queue. So for example, recently it was Southwark Park. So then you would go to Southwark Park, you would look around that sort of area, find the back of the queue, get your wristband, and then queue up. So the next question that you probably have is, how long does the queue take? Now, when I was looking at the queue, it seemed like you would kind of walk forward for a bit, stop, walk forward for a bit, stop. And when he was walking forward, he was probably walking forward at about a third of the normal pace of a walk. Um, and it was consistently moving, you know, the queue doesn't stop. And basically the government has an estimated queuing time. So for example, a 4.9 mile queue is estimated to take about nine hours. Um, so you're looking to every mile of the queue, it's gonna take about two hours which I guess makes, you know, fairly good sense. Along the way, there's always loads of stewards. You go past some very cool landmarks, which I think is quite nice. They made the route very interesting. The weather's not too bad, which is always a big, big bonus, but I guess you'd want to prepare for that. There are toilets along the way, and you are allowed to jump out of the queue, I believe, to get some food, to get some drinks, and then re-enter into that same queue so you don't lose out too much on your spot. Now, there is a separate queue for, let's say, anybody that is injured, or anybody that has a disability or anybody that basically can't stand for too long. You can arrive at this separate queue by Tate Britain and then you, instead of queuing for ages, you get a wristband that gives you an allotted time to go in to uh, see the Queens. But you will still have to expect to wait around for about four or five hours. It just means that instead you don't have to stand up queuing, um, go off and come back. Now, once you eventually get to the front of the queue, the next question you have is, is the security what is it like inside? How long do you get? So the security is very strict. It's like airport security, but even, even more strict. 
Um, you're not allowed to take in deodorants, perfume, liquids, water, food. So really eat all of that before you get to security and you know make use of it or slash give it to somebody else. Once you hit security, you're basically going inside within the next 10 minutes. Um, and once you get inside, I mean, it's really quite amazing. You get about 30 seconds inside. They, they kind of, it's a walking passage and you see like the crazy crown, the men, but it happens very quickly. So it's over very quickly. So if you do queue for 15 hours, um, be prepared that you'll be in there for 30 seconds. It is amazing. Like respect, you know? So I hope you guys have found this video very helpful. At first, I was very confused about how the queue works and where do I need to go to find out the information and if there are any alternatives. And so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Take care, leave a like if this did help you. Subscribe down below and I'll catch you again soon.